Hi everybody, today we're on our way to Bickle Camp out in the California desert. Walt Bickle came to Last Chance Canyon back in the 1930s. He had a machine shop in LA that he worked at during the week and on the weekends he would return to Bickle Camp to work his claim. He did that until the 1940s when he moved to Bickle Camp permanently. He worked his claim for the next 40 years until in the 1980s BLM came through Last Chance Canyon in an effort to get rid of squatters and drug dealers back there. They determined that anybody that had a claim back there they said that if your claim wasn't big enough that you would have to leave. So Walt was getting ready to have his property inspected. About two hours before the inspector was supposed to show up, he had a stroke and was taken to the hospital. This is the inside of Walt's cabin. You can see they kept it pretty much original. BLM later determined that his property was not big enough for him to stay there, but his friends and family banded together and they were able to reach an agreement with BLM that the property could stay open as a historical property and as a museum. So ever since then they've had a caretaker on the property. They were afraid that it would become a victim of vandals or theft like the Burrow Schmidt Tunnel had. One of the things the caretaker told us that was interesting is Walt had rigged up this light on this tall pole there in uh, Bickle Camp. And that's how he would communicate with other people that lived back in the area. While Bickle Camp isn't technically a ghost town, it's definitely worth the visit. I think next we're going to be visiting the town of Jerome, so stay tuned for that video. I'm just going to drive, drive, drive.